High speed trains are coming to Central Florida. Next, we could see high speed planes. The world's fastest supersonic jets are being manufactured soon, and the Space Coast will be the new headquarters. NASA is teaming up with a company to make that vision a reality. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi has more on that story tonight. Good evening to you, Alina. Right, imagine traveling from any two locations in the entire world in just three to five hours. Well, that could be a reality now thanks to plane maker Arion and their new partnership with NASA. High speed travel is coming to the Space Coast. The one thing that's the most precious to all of us is going to be time. The executive vice president of Ariane's aircraft development says they're working with NASA to develop planes that are capable of flying three to five times the speed of sound. The closest thing we have to time travel. The announcement with NASA shows that we're not just a one jet wonder. Uh, we do have a 50 year roadmap of jets that we're going to bring to market. And with NASA's help, we're going to be able to work on a lot of the scientific um, questions that you have when you go into the Mach 3 to Mach 5 regimes of a commercial aircraft. The company's CEO says their goal is to bring people closer together in a world where distance is no longer a barrier. The COO says these planes could save people 200 hours of travel time each year. It could save a lot of time for anybody that's in an emergency, anybody that needs to get back to their loved ones quickly. If you think about um, a typical businessman, businesswoman that leaves New York and has to go to a meeting in London, uh, there's a lot of a lot of time spent on an airplane. You could actually leave, have a meeting in London, and get back and tuck your children into bed the same night. And their new headquarters will be built here at the north side of the airport. And coming up at 6, we'll tell you how much the project will cost and the timeline to get it off the ground. Live in Melbourne, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News. Alina, thank you.